Example 12.8 asks us to state the domain and range. State the domain and range of the quadratic function whose graph is described as having a maximum of negative 6 at x equals 10. So I'm going to write down the word domain and the word range. I don't have a specific name for this function, so I, I don't have a reference there. So I'm just going to say domain and range rather than using d of f or r of f. So I don't because I don't have a name for the function. And it says here that the the graph is supposed to have a maximum of negative six. So that negative six represents a y value specifically at uh, x equals 10. So let me draw a picture. If I go out to where x is 10, and let me approximate here where I would say y is negative six. There's supposed to be a point here at 10 negative six, and it's supposed to represent the maximum for my graph. So then if I know that it's a quadratic function, which is stated in the problem, then I know it has to be parabola shaped. So there has to be only one parabola that I can, that I can make that has a maximum there, and that would be a parabola that opens down. Now there could be some other things that are going on like a stretch or a shrink, but ultimately it's gonna have to open down in order for this to be a maximum. And I'm not really concerned about making a perfect graph here. It's just a sketch to help me understand how to write the domain and range for this. So the domain uh, is gonna end up being all real numbers because the uh, quadratic function has no restrictions on it in terms of dividing by zero or square roots of negatives. And then the range we can see because it's gonna have to open down, we're gonna start with negative infinity and we're going to go all the way to negative six and we'll put a hard bracket there and that'll take care of the domain and range that has a maximum of negative six at x equals ten.